Hello everybody and welcome back to My Time at Porsche where today we are in our brand new really super swanky house with an upstairs. First time it has had an upstairs and it's looking amazing. It's so, yeah, like you say, nicely finished. Uh, the, those tent pegs are, are, are gone and, and it's looking, it's made out of stone now. So that's amazing. It looks so much better. So, so much better. Oh, you could stare all day at Lara. So I've got a lot of stuff to do around here. But I also have a water engine to make. And I don't know if I have enough stuff to make one. So let's just go and have a little look. I may need to go and grab some engines. So that might be the first thing I need to do today. Water engine. No, not, not a cooking set. Yeah, so we're missing two small engines. So I think the first thing I'm going to do today is do pop my... Scorny little bum through the ruins level one twice so that I can get two small engines and complete that commission. Because I didn't do it yesterday. Somebody loves me today. It's Lee. Ooh, mushroom with a uh, sorry, mushroom crepe with fruit. I don't really know what a mushroom Oh, I suppose it's a crepe in the shape of a mushroom. So there's not actually any mushroom involved, I don't think. Grab all the stuff out of here. And let's have a look at my imagery because before I go into any kind of uh, situation in the mines or dungeons or whatever, I need to make sure my inventory's clear, which I have not done at all. So we'll pop over here. Everything is such a mess. I'm so sorry, guys. It's like inviting people around to my house and it's a mess because I'm halfway through remodeling and oh, it's terrible. A wood chest. There's a few bits I can put in there. No, that's metal and gems again. Wood chest. Wood, wood. Wood, more wood, more wood, more wood. A bunch of fish still in my inventory as well. Some caterpillars in there, the fish in there. I never have enough time to do, do all this stuff. I'll make some more of that igneous rock stuff. Maybe the farming chest or something. Get rid of all the... I can put the apricots in there, I guess. Honey. Bones, mucus, poison. Beeswaxes. Skeletons, poops. Feathers, man. <laughs> I'm being so bad right now. I'm gonna regret it later because I'm putting things away in the wrong places. Snowman storage box. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be regretting that later. Okay, so let's go and see if we can get these small engines now. Everything is gonna be a mess for a while, and then it will look beautiful after a a little while after that. Okay, so I want to go to the sewage plant ruins. And we'll go and kill some sewage plant monsters. And get ourselves a free small engine. I'm hoping that I can get two small engines going through here. Um, I might have to go through twice, we'll see. It's always quite relaxing going through here because you don't have to worry too much, you know, because they're quite easy. Level 15. Level 15 guys are really easy to kill when you're level 43 or something, whatever I am. Pop a coil, a nice gift for Ak, a small engine, perfect. Perfecto mondo, so that's going to be great. I'll we'll get one at the end and then I won't have to go through here again. So, if you guys are wanting particular things, level 1 in here is good for small engines. Level 3 is good for lubricants. And it's about the only place in here that you will get a lubricant style prize. But you'll get quite a lot. So, if you're looking to make uh, construction cranes and things like that, 
here is where uh, level three is where to come. If you're looking for advanced engines, you're gonna want the um, piggy boss or the boss above the piggy boss in the desert ruins. If you're looking for industrial engines, piggy boss is also quite good for those. I've had a situation before where I've got an advanced engine and two industrial engines just from beating him once, and he's pretty good to beat as well. Pretty easy. Um, steel, copper cable, these very early sort of ruins areas are good for copper cable. And as you get higher up into them, you'll start to get steel cable. And then as you get higher up again, you'll start to get aluminium cable. Uh, sorry, aluminium cable will be in the desert ruins. Um, I think steel cable is about the most you get in this one. Sometimes get the old copper coil, that sort of thing. Um, if you're wanting, you get some of the... Uh, what is it? Silicon chip sets. You get like generally it's like the the smaller the sort of uh, they're not silicon chip sets. They're they're silicon. I don't know. They're the they're the lesser one anyway. The silicon. Uh, oh, what are they called? I don't know. I'm doing this all wrong. Doesn't matter because I have loads of health. Copper coil. Yay. Completely forgotten what they're called, but they're basically uh, circuit boards. Simple circuit boards, that's the one. I needed to remember the word circuit board. How did that go out of my head? I have no idea. But anyway, simple circuit boards um, are the ones that you will get most of the time. But when you get to about level four in here, you'll start to get silicon chipsets, and you'll get a lot of them in the desert one as well. So they're really good presents for Merlin, who really loves them. It just gives you a bit of an idea of what you'll find in each level. Simple circuit C. There we are. Find lots of them. And here's some more silicon chips. You find them everywhere. Pretty, pretty evenly, actually. But I think you might just get more of everything in the other ones. So... They're really good for making like dream lamps and music boxes and things which sell really nicely. Ow. Some people can just like kill this dude without taking any damage, but I don't really care. I just want my engine. I'm not doing any more fighting today. You get loads of stuff. You get sulfate, valves, metal jars, jet tubes, tempering liquid, simple circuits, antidotes, and a couple of other things that I didn't see popping out. So you get loads from these guys. They are very good. <laughs> I like to get all the goals I can out of these uh, boxes, even though they <sighs> probably are the... In the grand scheme of things, don't give me that many goals, but three goals are three goals, right? So I don't need to go through again because I managed to get both of my engines in one run, which is always nice. Always lovely. And let's just pop back. Go make this water engine. Make sure we stay ahead of that Higgins. And then I'll be able to see what the actual commissions are because he he could have taken he could have taken a double S rank commission although I don't think that he would because like they're way too hard they're way too hard for Higgins come on so yeah this place is looking an absolute pigsty right now but now I've got the house done I feel like I can really work on the yard and know what space I've got to work with so that'll be done in forty five minutes we may as well wait for that so while I'm waiting for that. While I'm waiting for that. Let's um, pull up some of these conductive floorings. Now they, they need to all be pulled up really. But I'm just going to pull up the main ones to get the path in at the moment. Just get that in, into place. Because once I've got the path into place, everything else can be worked on a little bit more easily. Right, so you need to move. Down to the end here. Once I've picked up all this conductive wooden flooring, I'll be able to pop it down the other end as well, which will make it a lot easier. Just everything needs to move along a little bit. But I really wanted the house to be in that position because I wanted... Uh, I had too much room... Oh, no, I don't want that. 
to come up. Doesn't matter if you moved. Uh, I had way too much room on this one side. And way not enough room over here for all the, the stuff. But to be honest, I might not even give them that much more room over here. What will probably end up happening is a little cooking area will happen behind there. Or I will move all of the farm animals back behind there. In fact, I'm going to try that now because it's still daytime enough for me to do it. Why am I not a horse right now? Where's my stupid horse? Come on. Also, why is my llama not being trained? Also, why are they starving? Still got some loyalty and they're still happy enough. So I'm going to train the llama's speed up a little bit more. Because we've been training your speed, haven't we, llama? Yes, we have. And you're going to be really nippy. Next update, there will be giant llamas. Um, the next update, obviously they gave you a little bit of a, a clue uh, with that thing that Mayor Gale said. Oh, I can't get my horse out of this stable now because the llama's in the way. Like, seriously? Do I need to get on the llama? The llama's being trained as well. That's not funny. Oh, hang on. So if I've tried to, to ride Whisper out of the stable, will Whisper now teleport? Yes. Okay, that's all right then. So try and ride Whisper and then just let t Whisper teleport if you're struggling to get them out of the stable. That is the way to do it. So, I can't remember what I was doing now. Mm, move my cow pen. And then see if the commissions are any good. Will be the thing after that. So I want to see if the cow pen will move within the sort of... Uh, so that's the shed I want to move. I want to see if it will move over here and look decent. Like, in in there. Oh, that's going to look nice. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. I want it rotated, though, I think. Actually, no, I don't want it rotated. I want it with the shed bit at the back. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So then we have room for like a little pathway along there. And this area can be a cooking area. And that would 100% work. I'm tempted to move the stable. To rotate it around this way. So you've still got a little bit of room for a path around there, but I don't think you need a big path around there, honestly. You can get to the chicks and to the um, horses from the front, and then there's a little pathway going up there to the cows. So I don't actually think it's needed at all. But I do think I want the chicks and the stable to be butting onto this pathway here. So I want to move the coop just very slightly forward. Maybe like that. So it's kind of, yeah, next to the stable. And then I've got this whole area here. I can put some planters in. And that whole area there can be used as my cooking area, which is going to look lovely. Although actually, do you know what I might even do is to, move, to put a pathway in here right up to the cows and chickens and then move the chicks to that side that would be way better wouldn't it yeah let's do that get those planters out of the way my water engine should be done now so i'll um i'll hand that in whisper i i didn't train you so i could run <laughs> so yeah that's my cooking area so all of my all my bits and bobs need to move into there as soon as possible and uh, I'm gonna probably put I will probably put conductive wooden flooring down there just to make it different from everything around it and then I'll just leave grass and stuff for these so many plans so little time to put them all into effect mind you like I said um, this is gonna be something I'm gonna really be working on quite hard until the point that the 
new patch comes out and then we'll be doing all the new storyline content and there'll probably be more stuff for me to do. I don't know how many more house upgrades they can do though. Like, I don't know, if they, they could maybe do another house upgrade or two but there's no more land now so that's going to start squidging things in a lot. I am such an efficient builder. Two printing presses. That would be really good. One water engine again. Printing presses are better. Printing presses I think take industrial engines. Let's see what a printing... I've got time. So I can see what a, a printing press actually takes to make quickly. I think it might be industrial engines but we can make those. We can get those easy. What else, what else is making a printing press then? Pulleys, which is lubricant, but I know where to get that now. Grinding stones, manganese, steel bars. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Knowing that the level 3 hazardous ruins will get me a, net me a load of lubricant is really, really helping. So we've got some possible ruin diving to do to make these printing presses. So I'm just going to go and see what I've got and what I don't have. And what I need to make overnight. I know, I'm running again. That horse. You don't do anything, do you? No, you're useless. I never ride you anywhere. Okay, so. Build me two printing presses. I need grinding stones and I need pulleys. So I need four pulleys. And six grinding stones and I need one more industrial engine as well so I will need to go through the ruins to get that okay the reason to go through the ruins though and get more stuff let's have a look um, grinding stones times six it's not too difficult the more difficult thing will be the pulleys and I can make those on these um, grinding comprehensive grinders how many can I make? I can make four. Oh, fantastic. So I don't actually need to go um, looking around for lubricants. But I could do with getting some more at some point. It'd be nice to have that ahead of time. So I think I'm uh, going to see Piggy Boss will be the thing to do now, won't it? Piggy Boss. The boss of all the pigs. I'll just pop down there. I think I've got enough inventory space to do just for now. I don't really need my horse to go over there because the DD stops do land quite close to the dungeons. And like I say, the more money I make now, uh, I've pretty much done all of the things I want to do upgrade wise, except maybe 90,000 for upgrading this. But I'm going to be able to spend a lot of money on upgrading things to look pretty. I can buy my fountains. I can buy all the stuff that I, I've been looking at in, in A&G constructions and being like, oh, it's so nice. I love this so much. Right, so I want industrial engines. But I will get them usually as a byproduct in the middle level. And I'd rather do Piggy Boss than Robot Boss, because Robot Boss is a bit of a pain. Although Robot Boss isn't so much of a pain if you have um, got a fight to do here, guys. I'm terrible at avoiding the flame variants. It would really help, though, if the person with, like, a tiny amount of health, if I could, like, not target something else. Like, you know, he stood there with, like, a tiny bit of health and I'm targeting the worm. I imagine that Tab or something would probably switch targets, but nah. I'm such a lazy fighter. I'll get the job done. You know what? I, I step if I need to, and you've seen this before. If I need to step up my game, I step up my game. If I don't, I'm really lazy. I think that this is a good survival mechanism because um, you know, if I needed, if I need to survive, I don't, I don't want to, I don't need to do more work than then I'm um, absolutely needing to do. You know what I mean? It's, it's a good way of conserving energy. But it's not always the most um, perfectionist route to go. <laughs> okay, next one. 
have a big worm to kill. Hello, big worm. Would you like to die today? Yes. Oh, great. Give me all your nitre. Fantastic. The worms will probably kill me this time. I've just not got quite enough. Let's see if I can take them out first, though. I don't have much health left, but you know what? If it's going to give me extra chances, then why would I? Why would I use? Why would I use my healing items? That's just a waste. It gives me a free chance to just have like a full two thousand extra hit points. So why wouldn't I take that? See, makes sense, doesn't it? Silicon chip set. Very nice. I said you get a load of those in this uh, particular ruins. Is really nice for Merlin. She loves them. She tinkers about with them all day. Loves them. See, so yeah, I just keep all the first aid kits, and then when I have a really difficult dungeon to do, then I've got like loads of first aid kits, and it's great. So why why would I do any different? And if it comes to the point where I am losing all of my lives each time, then that would be a problem. I want to get out of here a little bit. There are many enemies. They're gone. I was broken for just a second there. This fight's really difficult. <laughs> That's not a good fight. Condensed power stone. Lovely. I swear there must always be like so many different chests on this. Maybe not there actually, maybe not. I just always imagine there's loads of secret chests that I'm not finding. Like up the top there or something. I can't see them. It's rather warm in here right now. So because we just I've just come back from London um, and I'm going to be recording a nice big batch of these. Oops. Yeah, I've just come back from London. I'm going to do a nice big old batch of these. And um, so you're going to have to forgive me if I don't get videos up on... I don't actually... I, this is not going to be a video that goes out on Saturday, but you're going to have to forgive me. Forgive me on Saturday if I don't have as many videos out or or as early as normal because I had a big backlog. Oh no, he, he got me. I'm trying to talk and concentrate on this fight at the same time and it doesn't work. If I'm talking about what I'm doing, it's a lot easier than if I'm talking about something else. But yeah, I do apologise if... Um, If videos haven't been quite as... I can't talk about this. I'll talk about it in a minute. I just do Piggy Boss. I need to get my stamina back up. So I can roll away like a boss. Rolling gives you more of a chance to hit him more when he's rolled. Oh my God. This is a very good way of getting engines, though. Fairly simple. You get loads of extra stuff in the ruins as well. It's really good. I like these ruins quite a lot because of that. So you know you're a gamer when your keyboard home keys are W, A, S and D instead of like uh, J and whatever it is.
I was saying that because I lost my home keys for a second there. I was like, no! W-A-S-N-D! Where have you gone? And he's down. And I got one industrial engine and one advanced engine. But that was all I needed. I just needed one industrial engine. So if I get extra advanced engines when I'm coming in to get industrial engines, that's not the end of the world either. I would definitely have gotten, by doing the first one, two, possibly three industrial engines. But I find that boss a lot harder. But what we might do, because I have the one thing I haven't done here is used my gun. So why don't we try going into Ruins 1 and having a little go on the gun and see if we can beat the boss nicely that way. That'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Now, the best way to get out of here on the horse is to go up the conveyor belt. So says my commenters. Now, oh, it's like midnight. So I think the best thing we can do now, the best use, to, use of our time because the DD stop just shut, is to chop down poplar trees. I still have full stamina left. We've got a couple of hours, and so I can just like chop these down and have have the wooden things from them. The stump doesn't give you any poplar wood, but we'll get some poplar wood and things like that, just in case we need them for something in future. Because it's better. Because if I start running home, then there's going to be no time, is there? There's going to be like we'll just get home and I'll collapse anyway. So I may as well just gather things while I'm here. Any more poplar trees around? Ah, oh, there's one. Use my time efficiently. Tell you what, it's roasting today. Roasty toasty. Although I feel like while I was in London, it was way more roasty toasty. Because it was like a good four or five degrees hotter down there than it is up in Scotland. But, yeah, now I have to be in my little toasty toasty room. And it is very toasty toasty. What I need to do is start taking siestas and then staying up later at night. Be like they are on the Mediterranean. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun, as they say. It's getting late, I should get some rest. No, I need to find more poplar trees. I don't need no rest. Yeah, before I went away, uh, I was trying to get all these like videos. I, I hope I didn't sound like crazy in those videos because I literally was trying to get everything done before I went away. So I stayed up all night, and then we just like I just like fell asleep on the train. That that's how I that's how I managed to go away. <laughs> I don't know how I would manage to go to something like TwitchCon for a week. Although I'm gonna have to see you know if I can get the flights and stuff for that. I would love to go. I'm going to try my hardest to go. Oh, that's me dead. Again. But not dead. Dead, but not dead. Yeah, because I was never going to get back in time to put those printing presses um, on and, and start them going. So I'm going to start them going this morning. <clears throat> my voice keeps like breaking and I sound like a teenager or something. Or a really old person. Okay. Printing press times two. Where's my pulleys? Please tell me I made my pulleys. They might be they might be in my box. Did they get finished? It looks like they did, because the grinders aren't doing anything right now, so they must be in my box. There are some nice commissions coming up. Some really, really nice ones. My inventory is full. Everything's been left on the ground. Oh, I don't care. Let's get these printing presses made. They will be made in one and a half hours. Cool. I love that automatic thing. I am. You know how lazy I am with everything. So anything that does something automatically, I don't have to go find all the things in a box. Is great. Okay, copper bars. Um, metals. Lots of metals. There's many, many things that need to go into the uh, mechanical parts chest. Oops. 
like tempering liquid, all those chip sets, welding rods, engines. I have 12 advanced engines now. I might have to start selling them, but I know I'm going to need them. So I'm not going to sell them. Metal storage. I already know how to make metal storage. Those compressors I'm keeping, I have, I have a very strong suspicion they're going to be needed very soon. Okay, I'm going to get the cutters making some of that igneous flooring. So I can sell it. You know it so I can sell it, right? So it's igneous brick that you make out of the igneous rock. <laughs> fuel depleted. Just because it's halfway off. Doesn't mean that, that the fuel... Oh. Okay, I guess because I moved a lot of these... Well, it's a fuel depleted in all of them. Did all, did all the fuel did all the fuel run out? Man, it must be like the eighth day. Okay, I've got like nine hundred and ninety nine wood sat here, so let's just chuck some of that in. Nightmare. Okay, this is a bit better, although I do need to move some of the conductive flooring around. Moving the workshop area around is always a bit of a pain. Okay, so that's all done. Printing presses are done. Lovely stuff. Whisper stable is now this way round, which I think is a slightly better way round because it's easier to get them out of the stable in the morning. Okay, so many feathers. I, mean, I just make them into feather dusters. I don't know if that's what I should be doing, but hello. It's perfect weather to play crossfire with Mr. Isaac in the park. Yeah, that must be nice. Are you going in or what? Good. Thank you. Out my way. I don't need little girls in my way. If you work hard and never give up, you'll be well off in no time at all. That is a very optimistic outlook on life. And not one that I share. There are many, many people in this world that work very, very hard and have very, very little. Okay. I was fast, such an efficient builder. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I am so efficient. Skincare is a basic right. We need to use face cream every day. It is. Basic right. I uh, have a crystal. Do you not have crystals? Mm, have a power stone. You like those too, I know. Oh, no. Not as much as crystals, apparently. Alright then. Oh, it's the weekend. Mini game time. Because, you know, we've got we've got reputation to uphold against uh, that Higgins, haven't we? Mm. Looking, 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 that doesn't look right. the axe. Is there a chip somewhere? Is there a scuff somewhere? Doesn't seem to be. Uh... Aha! Right, bearings next. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. And let's check that. Skyvers. 
Never been asked to do one of these before, I don't think. Something wrong with that nut there, it's too big. Mm. Ah, there's a scuff there. Oh, no, that is different though. That is not on there. I'm going to fail this because that's different. Oh, it somehow affected all the way around there. That That's that rubbish. Rubbish, I say. Okay, DD stop. That has a weird bit there. Hmm, that looked different to there. Is, uh, the brightness maybe is slightly off there. That's definitely one. Oh! Okay, you only had two floors on that one. Alright then, that's fine. How are we doing compared to Higgins now then? We're at 1,577 yearly points and Higgins is at 750. Fantastic! I'm very happy with this. Everyone's an S rank now. Like, I don't think I'm anywhere nearing a double S, so double S looks incredibly difficult to get to. I don't think we're meant to be at that either because someone said in the in the um, comments that they'd gotten to double S. We've gone all the way there and it didn't really it kind of exist or something. They, they got to double S and it just didn't do anything. So I don't know if that means that they're at the top of their game or what, but you get double S rank commissions. So maybe you just get slightly more of them if you are a double S, if you're at the top. But yeah, we can't take any more commissions today, so that means we've got the whole rest of the day free to do things like fishing. Why don't we go put the catfish in the museum? Have we still got it on us, or do we put it away? Had an emperor catfish at one point. No, we, we put it away, but uh, I'll go and, go and dig it out again. We'll take it to the museum, pop it in. I don't know if we've got an emperor catfish yet, you see. We also have an emperor banner fish somewhere. Oh look, I've got all these things to sell in here. Man. A bunch of safes and uh, music boxes. And pinwheels. Let's see what the sell price is like. Oh yeah, I never actually found the fish. So it's uh, these two fish that I want to see if we do or do not already have emperor versions of in the museum and on the way down I'll check the prices we'll just go this way check in with Mars and Paulie I think hey Paulie how's life as a Paulie once I said I wanted to yeah I know we, we heard this one yesterday so I don't need to hear it again Right, so, and if you guys want to hear it, you can hear it in the previous episode, because I let it play in full. Little whale incense burner or something. The market price at the moment is 130%. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. So now we have 30,000 gold. 
we can just spend on whatever we want. Very nice. Okay, and then I'll pop into the museum and I'm gonna go and see if... Do you know what? This town would look so different if I started again, wouldn't it? My goodness me. That is something I plan to do and a lot of you would be happy to watch that apparently, you've said. Um, so it looks to me like you guys were saying that I hadn't done the water engine, but I have, it's here. So I have done all of the items now, the constructed items that you can put in. So I think now it's just um, a large relic, uh, yeah, large relics and things to do now. Have a look at the exchange. So, for Soldier with Scepter Piece 1. For a piece of the weird glass jar. Give the power lamp in, in exchange for Owl Clock Piece 2. The problem is, there's too many pieces. I find the relic exchange really difficult because there's too many pieces and I don't know off the top of my head what I need. So it's just really, really difficult. It's easier just to get the pieces and just make things when, when you can sort of thing. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff up here that I've popped in. I mean, we've done our 40 pieces, but I would like to try and fill it up as much as possible. So in here, we have all the, the fish that I've gotten so far, but I don't know whether we have emperor versions of some of them, so I'm gonna just... I think I need them on my hot bar, see. Yeah, I was allowed to put that in, so... If I go to observe, and then I go to art, I can go to the fish species that I have already got. So we've already got an Emperor Banner fish in there, so the second one could just be sold or whatever. An Emperor Goliath might be a little more difficult to find. Lands and fish, I didn't even know where to get them. King Salmon, I'm not really sure about that either. Koi, I think I know where to get. Frogfish, I think I do. Bubblefish, Firefish. I keep fishing all the fishing spots. When the prices go down again, I will get a ton of caterpillars. You guys were saying that, like, oh, you probably recorded ahead of the chart. The prices will change by caterpillars now, and I didn't. But next time it goes down, I definitely will. So you guys were also saying that um, there's a thing with my photography. Oops. Pop in here. And there's some, some things, some collections that I can do. So we've got all my cutscenes. So scenery, I could have 50 pieces of scenery. Collection. Colourful, sea urchin, snail orb, slurpee, ladybird, pan bat. Ah, pinecock, plyrimp, slow gooey. Illusion bunny, bandy rat. So we could go and take a few photos of some of the... Vampanda. Courteous bunny. Yeah, yeah. We could totally go and take a, a few photos of a few animals for a bit, couldn't we? While I've got nothing else to do. Oh, Han's around. Hello, Han. How's, how's life in, in wherever you come from? I travel everywhere to get inspiration, and Portia is one of my favourites. My writing hand gets itchy whenever I'm here, so you're a writer. Very nice. It's nice to know people from other villages and stuff. Okie dokes. Take some photos then. Oh, we missed the ladybug. So, it'd be nice to get a nice photo, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Mm, that's not the best. I don't really want this to be in selfie mode either. I'd rather have it in non-selfie mode. I can't remember how to un-selfie mode it. Is that just said again? Ah, there we go. You gonna turn around, mate? Turn around. Go on. I'd really rather take a photo of, like, of you, of, of your face. Other than the back of you. Oh no! You waited till I looked around, didn't you? 
Goodness me. Ladybug, I don't know. There we are, I think that's a nice photo. We're gonna keep that one. Maybe zoom in a bit more though, actually. That was better. Okay. We'll look at my collections. My collection one I don't think is the nicest photo, but uh, let's have a look. It's the ladybug. Yeah, that's all right, I guess. The one in the photo album generally is a lot nicer. So I just went in my scenery one. Okay, cool. That's fine. Let's have a look. Sea urchins, maybe. Uh, I bet there'll be one for a llama. Gotta be one for a llama, right? Beautiful bouncy llama. No, come back. Oh, wildlife photography is so difficult. Oh, that's a really good one. I like. I like. Okay, there's sea urchins and stuff down there. Let's go and run and get those. Ooh, and a snail lob. Is it a snail lob or a snail lob? I don't know. No one knows. Generally, that is generally the case with um, my time at Porsche. No one ever knows how to pronounce anything. That sucked. Slightly better. Cool, so we have that to add to the collection. It's basically all the stuff that's around outside. We, we could do bunnies as well, but I think I want to work on my workshop a little bit more as well. So much to do right now. So much to do, so many places to go, so many people to see. You go have a rest, Whisper. I know, I haven't fed you in about four, four days, but... I've got some apricots on me, apparently. There you go. How do you think the chick's pen kind of needs to be rotated so that their gait is showing at the right place? Oh yeah, I did have an idea, didn't I, for moving them. So, to do that, I'm going to need to take up these planters. I'm actually going to just take them up. And then we're going to move the chickens to the side. And then put a little pathway down between the chickens and the, the horse. So, you just move them over. And that will hopefully go towards um, the gate. So, you go straight into the gate to see the... the cows and the sheep and stuff and this will be the the food area my little food court I'm putting planters around the edge of that as well that's a good place for these to go I suppose and then I'll take them away wherever I want to sort of an entryway in Okay, so then we've got this kind of square that I'm trying to make. There's going to be like the centerpiece for like the fountain that will be going in front of my house. Because what's a house without a fountain in front of it? I mean, like who has who has a house without a fountain in front? Me. I, I do not have a house, a house with a fountain in front of it. Just in case you thought I might. Just in case I sound like that sort of rich person that has a, a big old marble fountain in front of my house. No, I'm more like the person that looks in my purse and goes, oh, I do not have money to go to TwitchCon, I'm going to try and go anyway. 
But I don't have money for it. It's just, why does life always give you opportunities when you, you, you can't afford it? It's like, I'll, you can have it cheap now when you can't afford it. And then later on, when you can actually afford that much, it'll be like three times as expensive. Yay! No. They need to make one in Europe. That's what they need to do. Mind you, actually, like, considering if £400 to go to California from the UK, like, I don't even know if I could, like, go and stay in Europe for that much money, honestly. That's the crazy thing about it all. Right, this pathway is nearly, I've nearly carved out enough room for it. things out of the way here. Oh, this will look good when it's done, but oh, it's tedious. I'm kind of thinking, do I need to pull these up? What was the plan for these then? Is the food area going to be that big? It could be. Well, I'm going to move them for now and I'm going to put the path in and then we'll see what we want to do with the rest of it. This is the original path along here. Pinky's off home. I'm not. Oh no, I've picked up that street lamp. I bet I'm going to have to make more pigment to recolour it now. That was a silly move. I'm going to just move street lamps and Lara and things like that just out of the way over here. Wonderful. Right, let's start placing these down so I've got a bit more of an idea that that street lamp is completely in the way now. Right, popped it over there. I should get some rest. No, don't make me. Don't make me, game. See how obvious this looks now. Oh, come on. Let me put it down. Thank you. Like, why would you design it like that? Please change it, Pathea. Please change it. Please, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Oh no. It's in the wrong place. Oh dear, and that is 3 a.m. And that, my peeps, is the end of the episode. So we've been doing loads and loads and loads and loads of rearranging of this workshop. It's been kind of crazy. But it's been kind of nice to take a few pictures of animals to add them to my collection. I should be able to get most of the animals into that collection. Um, I reckon I can definitely get the courteous bunny. I can definitely get the slow gooeys and go in and get all the plier rimps and all that sort of thing. Uh, it'll be Sunday, so I won't have any commissions to do, so I can certainly go around taking photos and rearranging the workshop, and that's what I will be doing next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then please do uh, leave me a like below, and if you'd like to see more of my time at Porsche, please subscribe, and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>